paint me a picture of like the first moment that you realized something was not right, you know, and 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 like what what was that physically, you know? How what were some of your your symptoms at the beginning, and then like as the intensity of your illness increased, how did that evolve? So take us through that journey of you know grappling with your illness. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to bring it back a little bit into into high school because the moment that you're speaking of actually happened in high school. It just I didn't really progress mm. into taking action or really, you know, feeling the the like the hardcore effects of being ill until college. But I started questioning things in high school. So mm. there was <clears throat> a couple of times where I would come down with bronchitis. And nobody really ever heard of, like, I never heard of anybody getting bronchitis around me. So that was, like, a very mm -hmm. interesting experience that I had. Because when I spoke about it to other kids in my class, they were kind of like, whoa, mm. that's pretty serious. And to me, it was mm. just kind of like, I mean, yeah, I was, I was pretty sick for, like, a week or, so, or something like that. And, um, you know, got the regular medical treatment of prescription drugs, uh, like a Z-Pack and, and those types of things along mm -hmm. with my inhaler and things like that that I was using for asthma. Um, but when I started to really, like, I guess you could say awaken a little bit, I wouldn't say I was awake, but I started awakening and questioning things, was I was camping with my friends, and, you know, we would be, like, out in the woods doing our thing, and I would be mm -hmm. carrying around an inhaler. And I just remember mm. looking at it because I've had so many times where I would go out, like, go out camping and I would have mm. to really make sure I had my inhaler or it would become like an, uh, an anxiety issue because I didn't have this thing that in case something happens to basically save me so I could breathe again. Um, mm. So I remember, like, looking at it out in the woods, and I'll never forget this moment, is that I remember looking at my inhaler and I'm like, my like my ancestors and people of the past didn't have to carry around this thing why do i have mm. to carry this thing around like this doesn't make sense like people before me survived without this why do i have to mm. like why do i have to have this thing on me all the time and basically live with it so mm. that was the big question and so powerful yeah and so as time went on you know i kind of I, I didn't really go further than that. I didn't really go further than how do I not use this anymore. I kind of just was questioning mm -hmm. it at that point. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I got into college, you know, that's when I started obviously partying more, uh, drinking a lot more. I was smoking at the time. None of these mm -hmm. things are good for asthma, obviously, but they're also mm -hmm. just not good for the immune system. So my immune system would tank like pretty heavily, especially with all the stress around like testing and uh, mm. work that you do in college, like trying to pass all the, t all the tests and your courses and exams and things like mm -hmm. that. And um, mm -hmm. just that added extra stress, the, the, the asthma and then, then the, um, all of that kept turning into more bronchitis actually. So I had mm. bronchitis like consistently like multiple times in a year. And I would get the same wow. kind of help of, you know, Z packs, antibiotics, prescriptions, uh, different types of basically, just different types of drugs, really. And um, it'd go mm. away. And then there came there came a point where it would only go away for about ten days, and then I would mm. get sick again. And that's when it was wow. Like, I, that's when there was like anger starting to build inside of me because there's there's no. There was no solution at that point. It was like I could go in there and I already knew it was, I knew what they were going to tell me. I just basically was like, give me the script. Let's do this for 10 days and then, and then nothing would happen, you know, because I was living the same lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 